Right. Let's go ahead and take. Is it Gary? Yes. How you doing? Are you long distance, Gary? I am long distance. Yeah. Uh, well, Hi. Sorry to keep you call, waiting. Then. No problem. It's worth it. How you doing? Good. Yeah, I live in a small town in, well, I guess, southern Ontario. Um, recently, it's a very small town. It's fairly religious. Mm -hmm. um, we have a pastor who keeps putting an article in their paper on a monthly basis. He takes a full page ad. Right. And I guess I just kind of got sick of seeing it every month. I didn't think it was a place for it. So I've taken out a full page ad opposite uh, to express my atheism. And um, in, in some sense, I'm kind of not worried about backlash, but worried how I should proceed from here because I'm not really familiar with how our Canadian laws handle these things because we don't have separation of church and state here. So, so, so you called a couple guys in Austin, Texas to, to give you counsel <laughs> on, on Canadian law. <laughs> well, hey, you know what? I just recently got high-speed internet and you guys are the best thing on it. So, <laughs> Sweet. Wow. The oh, whole internet. The most knowledgeable of everything I've listened to from I, I I've would, listened I to Dawkins and, and everybody. So. I wish we had good information about Canadian law. I don't, I don't think that if it's anything similar to U.S. law in this area... I'm, I'm not that sure that's what he's asking. Well, all right, what are you asking then? Well, I'm asking where I can go from here. People are going to read the article. Some people are going to be upset. Some people are going to go, hey, good for you. Uh, but I want to proceed and continue on with this like you guys have done, and I just want to be able to have my facts and information behind me. I don't want to sound foolish. Yeah. So I don't know how I would go about getting all this information, and you guys have done it for a long time, so I'm just kind of looking for some direction and advice, I guess. Uh, I, I would say, uh, I've said before that the best way to start arguing is to know everything, uh, but, okay. <laughs> but not being in that position, uh, the best thing to do is take your time and read about stuff, because um, if, if somebody says something that you don't think is quite right, you can always Google it, uh, and over time you'll also build up a, a bunch of sources uh, that you find to be reliable responses to the kind of things you're arguing with. Uh, I think, shameless plug, uh, ironchariots.org is an excellent resource for responding to Christian arguments. I, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Thanks. Um, Problem is, though, is that you guys always seem to be able to fall back on that separation of church and state for a lot of your arguments. Right. right. I don't have that. Yeah. Well, what are you arguing about? I mean, because separation of church and state is just a legalistic thing. Uh, it sounds to me like what you want to argue is really just uh, the content of what this pastor keeps saying. Oh, that, that, that's the easy part. I'm just worried it's going to go from where it's going to go from here, because I'm also trying to reach out and touch all the humanists, because they call them humanist organizations right. up here. Their atheist word is not used. Well, I'm, I'm a big fan of calling people who know stuff. Uh, have you tried talking to the, somebody who works at the newspaper? Um, yeah, well, actually, it was quite interesting, because my wife was very worried about what was going to happen, and they actually wrote back, we are infidels, too, and they were very happy that I was going to put this article in, because no one else, they said... Why don't you do ask them if you can write a regular column instead of just taking an ad? Yeah, that's a perfect and, and, idea. And one of the things that, that I'd actually recommend, I mean, you know, the, the, the minister, but we have people, uh, editorial and opinion pieces in our papers all, all the time. As a matter of fact, I just posted a response to one, um, last week, this guy got his published, and then I posted my response, and 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 it kind of goes that way. But if you're if you're, he, he's got every right, or at least I think he's got every right, um, to post his opinion, and so do you. I think what I do is ignore unless they're just simply outrageous, the okay. comments that the minister posts in in his. Uh, opinion pieces or whatever. Yeah. Uh, rather than trying to battle him on what he's saying, unless it's something that's just incredibly objectionable, and then I would. Or if he it. starts trying to argue with you, in which case you know you're making an impact, so yeah. that's good. Right. Okay. Um, but instead, um, and, and w if 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 the purpose is to get the message out, and we, I realize that I'm not the best example of this. Um, our show, <coughs> both shows, can sometimes be. Um, very harsh in criticism of, of religion. And in other times, I, I would hope at least, and I, I get comments that it does come through, we're really just trying to have an honest discussion about things that are interesting. But when it comes to rights issues, you can have and should have a sort of righteous indignation about um, ethics and human rights where you can speak from a positive base 
that addresses the issue honestly and fairly without criticizing uh, somebody else's invisible friend, um, you can <laughs> criticize their position on a given issue. And we're seeing that a lot both um, with uh, gay rights issues, now you know, with California allowing uh, gay marriage, and by the way, I'm going to do my favorite joke of the week again. <laughs> Uh, Sulu is getting married, so set phasers on stunning. <laughs> but uh, you, you can do you can do that kind of thing without actually attacking what they have to say. But um, another option is once you get more more comfortable with it, um, you or somebody else, some other human is, you may be able to to get that minister to be willing to have a kind of conversation in the newspaper. And as long as as you make sure that you remain civil and not the person on the attack, then I think you can be productive. Now, one of the things I've said before is if somebody watches this show and goes away with their strength, faith, or their faith strengthened, um, but they've at least thought about things, I'm okay with that. Okay. What I've done is I've challenged the religious people in the area to open civil debate. Because I'm trying to, my goal is, is it's similar to yours, I'm trying to open up communication in this area because nobody talks about it and I'd like to talk about it. And that's what you guys do and that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, I'm just, well, I'm just I mean, worried about back. Actually, my wife is very worried about backlash that we're going to get from this. You know, uh, if we don't get that much backlash here in Texas, I think I think I'll I don't be know okay, if right? I would worry so much about it's, Canada. It's kind of a toss-up. I mean, Austin is a fairly well, Big. an extremely liberal town. It's it's this yeah. bastion of sanity in in an otherwise insane state, um, and I don't mean that as an insult to other okay. people in Texas, but that's just the way it is. But you know, we've had people call in with threats or write in with threats. Um, you know, honestly, I just, I don't worry about it. I don't, I don't let it get to me. Um, I don't I don't bear any ill will towards people in general. It's, what I'm talking about is ideas. And um, the people who really would resort to some kind of, I mean, I've had windows in my car broken, but I can't say that it was because of the show or the bumper right. stickers. It might have been. I don't know. Um, well, see, I've been fired from a volunteer fire department here because of my beliefs. So oh, wow. really? <laughs> I wouldn't worry about what else happens. So. Well, you yeah, know, you, you live in a small town, which is not like Austin, and uh, they, you know, it's possible they could be, I don't know your situation, they could be a little more backwards. But on the other hand, the very fact that the local newspaper editors said, yeah, we're heathens too, but, you know, they didn't bother to write or say anything about it, might mean there's a lot of closeted atheists around uh, looking for a reason to come out. Very good point. Yeah, and, and it also might mean that there's, <clears throat> between losing your job and the fact that the, the newspapers agree with you, but they're not willing to say it out loud, there may in fact be good reason not to be vocal. I, I don't want to encourage uh, people maybe. either way. Oh, no, no, I did, it, it was just a volunteer fire department. I'm not going to lose my job. I'm <laughs> oh, okay. in business for All myself. Right. I'm not even worried about that. It, it's just... I don't want my kids to be, right. you know, I don't want them Targeted. to hear comments when they're walking down the street and things well, this like that. Well, this reminds me very much of a letter that we had a couple weeks ago on nonprofits where somebody wrote and said, um, basically, I've been a crappy atheist. You guys are out there talking all the time and, and I, you know, out of fear of losing my job or reprisal or, or how my kids are going to be treated, I've kind of stayed um, closeted. And my response to him was, if you're comfortable, being out and outspoken, by all means, do it because we need as many people raising the conscious, uh, the, the, raising the level of public debate um, as as we can get. But if you're uncomfortable with it, uh, I am not. I am not uncomfortable. I'm, yeah. I'm a musician as well, and I'm. I wrote a huge mm -hmm. CD, which, well, my son and I are doing a CD that not bashes religion, but very much questions it. And we've been pumping it and promoting it all over, and we've gotten positive and negative response out of it so um, believe me I'm not closeted about this issue but I just wanted to know how you guys would handle it since you've been doing this for quite a while that's all yeah all right. I'm uh, you know, uh, the atheist community of Austin got started by somebody taking out an ad in a paper 12 years ago, was oh, it? Very interesting. Uh, and just saying, let's meet for coffee sometime. And if you haven't included that, then you might throw in a place and a time and just see if anything happens. All right, that's an excellent suggestion. Yeah, that's... that's. You know, it, it wasn't until the advent of high-speed Internet up here that I thought I was mostly alone, so you guys have opened a huge world for me, and I appreciate that. Anyways, I won't take up any more of your time. I just want to thank you for all that, and thank you for your advice. Well, before you hang up, 
Okay, I'm be still here. Before you hang up, be sure and get us a copy of the CD, because if any of it's good <laughs> intro music, we'll, we'll happily use it. All right, well, you tell me how I go about doing that. You can, you can, uh... I've tried sending you a couple emails, and then you, I don't know if they got through or not, so... Um, maybe they did, maybe they didn't. You can email tv at atheist-community.org or president at atheist community Mention the fact that you were just on the show yeah. and we asked and for it. and in the it. subject line, just put, like, NPR or AETV, <laughs> and that should get through most of the spam filters, but... Okay, perfect. Thank you very much for your time, gentlemen. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate okay. it. Thanks. Bye -bye. Great call. Well, you know, it's... I, I like that because one of the we have a T-shirt, an ACA T-shirt, which uh, it, it isn't available anymore. It's one of the older ones, but it says "You are not alone," and it lists yeah. a bunch of famous atheists. I but, have that one. Yeah, I, I I may have an extra copy if you need one. But the interesting thing about that shirt is it, one of the reasons we have this group is to support uh, originally atheists in the Austin area, but now we're we're worldwide um, with the advent of the internet. So uh, it's it's good to let people know. You're not alone. When you're when you're the person sitting around at work listening to your coworkers talk about what's going on at their church or thanking uh, thanking their invisible friend that the, you know their parent um, who was ill has, has recovered, um, or uh, talking about p political and and human rights issues, and their entire argument comes uh, f from a book. That was, you know, that is thousands of years old and has no practical use. Um, you're not alone. There are plenty of other people just like you. Um, it's just that they're not necessarily as vocal about it. It's, it isn't. Um, it's not the same as, as you know, being a closeted gay. Even though that that's often uh, something that is used as a comparison. Uh, but there, there is some similarity there, in the sense that being different, being outside the norm, being in opposition to the majority um, can be very intimidating. Uh, I just, I, I, I got to the point where, the half, you know, as soon as I had, had shed my religious beliefs and I acknowledged the fact that I was an atheist, I was really um, in that position where, wow, I don't want to tell anybody, I don't want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm not sure if people are going to look at me the same way or treat me the same way. And one of these days, one day, um, and, and it was easier for me than it may be for people with families or whatever, I just decided, no, um, I actually care more about the truth, about finding other people who believe what I believe, about challenging ideas and having conversations that are important, that are about the big issues, that um, people have just kind of quietly accepted whatever religious droll is, is tossed at them. I care more about that than I, than I care about somebody not liking me. I'd rather have people like me for who I am than pretend to be somebody I'm not. You know, over the years I've come to feel that the best way to deal with people trying to intimidate you with a negative label is to proudly own and identify with that label, yeah. which is why uh, I am happy to describe myself as a liberal, atheist, feminist nerd. Sweet. Geek. Yeah, that too. <laughs>